Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kathy's Corner of Steven Sand and this is chapter 10 of Let's Get Busy. Stepping out or getting out of our comfort zone, getting out of the comfort zone. And uh, what I wanted to talk to you today about was the feeling of um, like when you do things in life to, are you kind of punishing yourself? Are you um, not doing them for the right reasons? What I'm talking about is like, for me, I'm not the um, cleanliest of the um, most organized, the prettiest, the um, the one that cares about what she looks like, <laughs> I'm not that person. And, um, and it probably loses a lot of people by saying, oh, she looks really bad, you know, on screen. And I really don't do this to look like a goddess or look like a queen. I do this to say, one, I am authentic, and two, I am not, you are not alone, and three, I am not alone. And I um, want to share my gifts with the YouTube universe to say, I don't care how hard it is, I don't care how hard you have to fight, or who you have to fight, or why you have to fight it, you will get up and do it again. You will get up and do it again. Yesterday, I got a, a card that said, you are no longer the student, you are the teacher. And if you go way back to my channel um, at the beginning, I'm constantly talking about this volleyball coach that pounded ball volleyballs at my head in high school. And um, I just had to get up and get ready, get, get up, get ready, get ready, get ready for that next hit. And you just constantly got up, you constantly got up. She, she forced you to get to your feet. And I am now your coach, and I am forcing you up, saying, I don't care how hard it is. I don't care who you have to fight. I don't care um, what you have to stand up for. We're going to do it. We're going to get up. 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 And we're not going to stop. And um, so, yeah, so I'm seeing myself more as a coach now than a player. I'm seeing myself as a teacher more than a student. Which is funny because I don't see myself as a teacher. I see myself as a, a, a kid that doesn't know much about anything. Um, but I am envisioning myself um, through For Florence Shin's book of <coughs> how the game of life and how to play it. You envision yourself being the coach. You envision yourself being the, the teacher. And, um, and, and you are capable, I, I am capable of telling you that no matter how hard it gets, no matter how little hope there is, we'll get through it because we're getting up and we're getting up and I will continue to hit the, hit the balls at you and I will ask you to get into that ready position before the next ball comes and they will be coming fast and hard and they will be coming right at your face and they will be coming right at your feet and you have to be ready and they'll be this way and that way and yeah <laughs> I'm just having fun with you now so um yeah but I I do see myself as the coach on the ladder hitting ball after ball after ball and her her shoulders must have been so sore, but she wasn't going to stop. She wasn't going to stop, and neither was I. So we're in this together. All right. Um, yeah, that was, I just come off with these, like, off the top of my head, so I apologize if that sounded weird. Um, these are the Healing Spirit uh, Oracle Cards by Gordon Smith. And today's intention, they look like this. And I'm going to get out of my pocket.
Hmm. Where is it? Here it is. My matching rosary that I'm going to um, have with me all the time and won't go through the wash this time. Uh, this went through the wash and I keep it with me always. Um, it came back together magically, miraculously, however you want to call it. Um, and I am sharing that with you to say, I don't care how hard it is. I don't care what people tell you you have to do or you, you know, have to say. You get up and you do the right thing. You stand up and do the right thing. So these are the cards and the intention I'm setting today is um, how hard it is for some of us to keep going, how hard it is for some of us to get up, how hard it is for some of us to press on and do the right thing even though it's hard. And you don't just um, you don't just give up and let society do whatever they want to do to you. You get up and you fight. You fight back in a respectful way, uh, you know, with dignity and respect. Um, but you fight back. You stand up toe to toe and you say, no, I don't think so. Not this time. So, all right. This is what it looks like. And it says, trust in the wise spirits and your prayer will be answered. And the book says, trust in the wise spirits and your prayer will be answered. The spirit masters always hear your prayers and want to help you when they can. Even when you believe that your path is blocked and a sense of helplessness takes over, offer up your prayers to them. You, will ha you only have to ask once. Repetition makes you doubtful. The spirit masters will give you a sign that they have heard your prayer and you must leave it in their kind and safe hands. Allow them to guide you appropriately when you need light on the path. And when it does appear, follow it and let it lead you to the next level of your life. Remember, trust is its own reward. And when you trust that when you trust in the spirit, sages and masters, there is will always be a light to show you the way. I like that. Um, last night I went to see uh, a concert um, with a beautiful, uh, a beautiful guitarist, and I was kind of like just closing my eyes and letting it soak in, and I would kind of like look to the light, and I could feel the vibration of the music as I closed my eyes and kind of looked up at the lights, and the lights will always show you the way. Um, the light inside us, we all have, um, we all have light inside of us. Um, our, our purpose is our light and it will show us the way if we trust it and be silent and, um, and we allow the, the healing spirits to, to tell us the way, the right way to go. So trust them. All right. I wish you well. Um, I wish you a wonderful day today. Have a good day.